Okay, here we go, Mary. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. It is I once more. It's Friday, and we're here getting ready to uh, launch into a three hour Lounge Academy episode live stream. Here being the highest. Regency Buffalo in the heart of downtown Buffalo. Every every bed is booked here at the Hyatt. Yes. You can feel the energy. There's a Comic Con. There's superheroes running around here. Big wedding. A wedding. Imagine having your wedding happens to be during Comic Con. Yeah, and under after the same a few group. after everybody's had a few drinks. <laughs> turn into a uh, DC Comics uh, I heard that series. the Comic-Con people were refusing refreshment yesterday because they just wanted to make sure they could go, go all in today. <laughs> I see. The Comic-Con people were saving themselves for today for, for, their, for their drinking. Interesting little tidbit there, yeah, Mary. Yeah, I thought, I good, thought it was Good interesting. reporting. <laughs> Things I find out at the bar here. Okay, let's see, I just got to get our uh, yeah. final preparations made so that uh, so I can see all the chats, so that everybody can see all the chats. Let's see, how do we do that again? It's a good thing we do this every week, you know, on a regular basis because the complexity Uh, make one forget how to work this thing. All this high-tech gear. Oh, I didn't see it. So. There it goes. Okay. Hey, there's an alarm going off. An alarm's going off. It's not a very loud alarm. It can't be too, no, it's, it's too big no. of a thing. There's, there's a lot of military guys here. Let send out alarms. <laughs> this was playing when they turned off the, the system. Oh, it was? toe in, you know, and slowly turn the PA up. I don't even have the PA on. I'll, uh, I always start the, the night, though, just talking to my, talking to our own family of lounge cadets. This could be the night, huh? This could be the night. Mary said tonight could be the night. I could be in luck. Dale Pine. Great to see you, sir. Where are you, where are you checking in from uh, this week? It's always someplace. I think he's in the CIA. Dale gets around a lot. He goes, he's disguised as uh, the ultimate car guy, but he's out starting revolutions preventing revolutions goes both ways, right? Now, despite the hotel having sold out every bed, I don't know, maybe everybody's in their bed. Nobody's in here right now. Now's your chance, ladies and gentlemen. Happy hour. It's just kicking in, and it is only an hour for the big drink specials. 
first class libations going through the entire evening. And we've got a brand new bartender to break in here on Lounge Academy. Good guy. Already made that determination. Dale's in Orchard Park. Beautiful. He's waiting for the Bills game. He's going to sell some parking on his lawn. He, he could do that, but he owns too many classic cars. He doesn't. skillful portion of the night for a piano player entertainer such as such as my business card claims I am here at the Hyatt it's when you got to break the ice so we don't even have any ice there's no one here last last week we sold the place out so unexpectedly they ran out of wine glasses and they had to start scrambling right Mary We've been doing really great. We've been maybe we're, maybe we're due for a slow night. Although they always start out like this. You may notice the accoutrements of a fine hotel in some of the scenes which I really enjoy that when I watch the playback and I see those, those hotel carts with the luggage carts. They're shaped like the carts in the old movies. I love seeing those rolling by in the background as people head for the elevator. Yeah, it's the original mousetrap design. Except they used to have people shop them for you. Now it's optional was expected in the old days. Yes. I've got I've got some steamer trunks. How great. That's great. I always wanted to travel with steamer trunks. I don't even know if people would be like equipped to handle yeah, well, those really anymore. Make a in your they used to have special dorm. carts and stuff for those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, a statement in your college dorm. <laughs> yeah, right? You arrive with a steamer, dressed like you're out of bright type. Paris Hilton showing up <laughs> in college with her steamer trunks. That's the second Paris Hilton reference I I've made this week. It, it's something she would do. She, oh, see, she, I don't does, know she does a commercial about her for the Hilton Hotels. Oh, she does. And oh, she plays okay. a part. Oh, and because she's in that family, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I periodically forget, but that explains a lot. And I think yeah. she patterns yeah. it after Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, in, in, uh, I forgot she was in the airport. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And Sabrina. It's cool that someone does that, yeah. That was fun watching Sabrina. <laughs> Melinda knows Sabrina by heart. show where we're always wondering, speculating, that perhaps nobody's going to show up. Which could happen. I don't think it ever has happened. It, 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 happened, it hasn't happened here. I think it happened once over at Big Blue. I think we actually had a night when only the hosts were there. I think we did, yes. And it was not during a pandemic. No. It was a rehearsal for the pandemic. Start faking it though because Ari Silverstein just popped on the screen. Oh, we got it. 
and Melinda Miller. Melinda, we need you down here. There's no one here. Yet. Melinda would attract some people. Her and Mike. It's nice. Very hip couple. I was planning the horse plant. What did that end up being? I don't, I don't know. Just, was that the pokeweed? That's, that's, that is what it ended up being. It ended up being pokeweed. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever I say is what Okay, it ended but up I being. couldn't remember. There were two plants you were talking about, and I didn't have all a the, All the plant. random parking lot weeds that I was oh, yeah. analyzing hey, with that Remember you have after. wild parsnip growing on the front lawn. We're going to have to harvest that parsnip later on. I got a lot of that parsnip on the Oh, that's one. neat. Oh, were you using the sea cap to figure that out? No, but the, you pointed it out to oh, me. Oh, okay, and you already covered it. Welcome. Yeah. The lounge is filling up. A couple of happy hour participants over there. <laughs> talking or joking.
supposed to sound like a slide guitar. Oh, like a slide. That's why I did. They said slide notes or something. I've tried this sober before. This is very challenging. I'll try anything though. Look at that, that lemon infused, orange infused oh, water they're cool. making. It's new. Yeah, they had. It looked really good before, just plain. It would look really appetizing. Yeah, now they got the lemon. I saw a guy use the side of it to clean his glasses. Clever. All of a sudden, my, that is clever. He used the I side of it. Oh, yeah. Distilled water on the outside. That's a good idea. about ready to start crying because nobody was here. lovely tonight. A little polka dot number. The, pl 
plaintiff. <laughs> right, the plaintiff. <laughs> Song, this is Mary. Very good. It's merely that spring. Lesser. It's a Frank Lesser song.
Audrey Clark. Nice to see you, Audrey. Welcome. Welcome to Lounge Academy. Always honored to have Audrey here. She's the ex officio president of the Jackie Jocko fan club because she founded it in 1953. Wonderful organization. some part of her, some appendage of her body, I think. See if I could get a look for you. She's wearing a, got a little ice pack on her ankle. Luckily, we've got lots of uh, accommodating Davenports to lay back on. Just happened to turn out to, to this song. Let's put your little foot right out. <laughs> kind of, kind, got kind of a theme going. That's right. Yeah, I haven't skinned my knee. Knock on wood. I felt a bump and hurt and oh, oh I beg your pardon. <laughs> you know how easy I am to influence. Suddenly I saw Polka dots and moonbeams All around the pug nose dream The music started And was I the perplexed one I held my breath and said May I have the next one in my frightened arms, polka dots and moonbeams sparkled on a pug nose dream. There were questions, but my heart knew all the answers.
when I kiss a pug nosed, pug nosed dream. Jimmy Van Heusen and Johnny Burke. Interesting things in this book. Yeah, that's a good old book. I love how it's called. Oh, book. Park. Yeah, I learned on this book. Yeah, that book was I allegedly learned. Kind of I had the miniature I think when I started out. No, no, the, I. Oh, the big one? The, this one, I have it in a little oh, okay. miniature version, but I, it's been around it long. took me so long to, to learn how to do it that I couldn't read the little writing anymore. Bon, are you out there? Welcome to the Hyatt's. Sutter like up on top of the piano? Can you sutter on the piano? Like in traction on the piano? Well. So what's up? What's up? You know, I saw a beautiful uh, Rolls Royce. Yesterday, it was a kind of a, it looked like, I only saw it for an instant because I was doing a parking maneuver. So I couldn't, you know, I, I completed my parking maneuver and then quickly like snapped my head around so I could get a better look at this beautiful old classic, you know, soap shaped, you know, round Rolls Royce. Um, so I could describe it to you or to even see if you were driving it. It was over at the Key Bank Plaza at, um, Hurdle and uh, Hurdle and Delaware. I saw three guys right out of the back. You got it in the back of the Rolls Royce. Yeah, it looked like an old movie, and it was this beautiful kind of a. Uh, it looked like it was like a cherry cola colored almost. Red. Do you know that car? No. It was beautiful. I, a lot of the cars that I figured you'd know them at least. Was a, a beautiful brownish kind of color, reddish brown. But my brain told me it was because I only saw it for a second. It was, I, and then it just vanished into thin air. I couldn't believe it. I was looking around all directions. How did it get away so quickly? It 
might have been like um, like rods. You know those rods where they're supposedly that Art Bell used to talk about in the middle of the night. Art Bell, I loved Art Bell. Art Bell was great. You get up, you could get up like any part of the night. You know, to, if you had to take a little break, bathroom break, and he was on the radio without any guests, just talking and talking. Yeah, he invented aliens. I think he was one. Aliens are making a big comeback now. Maybe we'll have some staying at the hotel. I like that jacket. It, what did you say about it? It's new? It's new. Oh, it is. It looks great. Looks beautiful. It goes great with that pink shirt. And the hat. The whole ensemble is, is very well put together. Thrift shop. It looks new. Jacket. Yeah. I remember when that tie. I only buy them at the thrift thrift shop. I remember when that tie used to be in style. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know, that's what we're we're about. We're about the past. <laughs> I didn't know you were that old. Yeah. But it doesn't. It, it takes. Less and less time now for the outdated to become classic. I remember it seemed like just a few years ago, somebody, somebody said, yeah, but it, it could happen so quickly. Somebody was explaining mid-century modern, and it was like, what are you talking about? There's nothing stylish about mid-century. It's like now, bang, it's like the coolest thing. Not just because it is, but just I think it is, you know? I love that space age stuff. Sure. Those only sound good on 8-track. Yeah. Did it have like wow and flutter? No. Mine does. I've got one in With the 8-track, it's starting to get into the groove. And then it goes. <laughs> Where it eats it. Well, yeah. Well, set and they had that pencil eraser. <laughs> right. That was for the passenger to do. When they weren't rolling a joint, they were rewinding an eight track with a pencil. Yeah, but I think they rolled back and. I think they're expunging all those. No, they're giving them licenses to sell them. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you were convicted, you, you're the one that first in line to get a license, right? Who would have, who would have ever thought? wasn't working. It's worth a try. 
Did you try poetry? Did you try beatnik poetry? <laughs> the days, the days of wine and roses. here even if they even if they got like hurt or having a horrible time. I mean that's better than nothing, right? <laughs> I said at least we got two guests even if they <laughs> <laughs> I remember at our place we always have to used to worry about stuff like this. <laughs> routine for Dave Corbett too. Yeah. Sounds like what? What was his name again? That that country piano player. Yeah. See, there's. I'm trying to get a little Floyd Kramer-ish. I never tried it before, but. It's those half tones, slips, yeah, slip yeah. notes. That was what you just did. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as elaborate as Crazy, she calls me. Sure, I'm crazy. her 
smile the difficult I'm gender bending I'll do right now the impossible will take a little while they say I care forever and I mean forever if I have to hold up the sky crazy she calls me sure I'm crazy crazy in love am I people tuning in. I'm the only one watching. That doesn't mean it can't change on a dime, though. Where's Ryan? He ghosted me this morning when I was trying to text him, so it made me think that he Is that you out there? Ooh, Mary McNeil. McNeil. She goes by the name McNeil for show business purposes. We need a McNeil. It's it's Joyce. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking proud. Great to see you, Terry. Wonderful to see you. Nice to see you. That's nice what they did with the chairs. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? They keep adding. Because we keep adding. people wouldn't spill drinks there because they wind up going in the piano if they spill there but if they spill on the other side it's fine it just cleans the piano on the other side we've had some spills lately no big deal but that's why but that's why my hat's there i also had to wash the hat in the men's room with the hand soap because it wound up covered with wine there was a, like a separate one you know, it really cleaned up nice. It needed a cleaning like that. I didn't know you could clean them in the sink like that with hand soap. Yeah. What color card do you have, orange or red? Well, I've got every color card. Because I, I walked my dogs it past was, your house. It was in my... It was in the driveway. Oh, a little red convertible? Yes. Yeah, that's my. That's one of mine. Yeah, you might have been over there. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I was. Bother. The car was there. I was there. Yeah, I didn't want to bother you. I was almost ready to knock on the door, but I thought I didn't oh, bother you. You probably have to, like, message me or something. Yeah. It's, yeah I don't, you don't really hear the door in that place. Yeah. It doesn't it's have place. things like doorbells and stuff. Yeah, it's a big place. How many rooms does that house have? Um, I don't know. The first floor was opened up, so there's less rooms than it would have originally had. There's still rooms upstairs. The, well, the round table restaurant. Did you ever go there? So what's new? I'm trying to think. I've heard that people have been asking you for everything. I heard gossip that the statue is going to be in the sun. I think 
think I heard that. Nice guy. Yeah, Roberts. We're breaking him in. They're writing songs of love, but not for Joyce. A lucky star above. But not for me. With love to lead the way, I found more clouds of gray. Good guarantee. get that way I hold last an hour so like a day McNeil, but not for me. He's not. from Girl Crazy, in case anybody here is Girl Crazy, or just crazy, or just a girl. Speaking of just a girl, it's Pauline, ladies and gentlemen. Pauline cannot make it down tonight. I'm so glad you jumped in to be with us virtually, Pauline, to say hello and we're here having a ball. You're missing a hell of a party. People are already getting hurt. Dave's got a new suit. You're supposed to fall on the way out, right? Drives a Rolls Royce. He 
just has that official look about him. Especially when he's drawing a cartoon. Joyce, I'm biding my time. Cause that's the kind of guy I'm. While other folks grow dizzy, I'm keeping busy. Biding my time. Next year, next year. Something's bound to happen. This year, this year. Oh, I'll just keep on napping. I'm biding my time. Cause that's the kind of guy I'm There's no regretting When I'm setting I'm biding my time Thank you, Pauline. It's wonderful having you with us. Along with the great Kathy Moses. How are you, Kathy? Ross. It's it's at tippower.com. But it's not necessary, Ross. Did you ever have my friend Ross Runfola? You know, Ross, he knows everybody. This is me, knows Terry Licata. Who is he? He's the, um, he's this big important guy in the county. He goes around and checks all the scales. Scales? Yeah, scales. like, like in rest. Yeah, what like scale? scales for weighing, um, like at the grocery store. You ever see these oh, yeah, scales? The or like, your and possibly, do you do the gas pumps too, Ross? Anything you see those 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 county stickers saying it's been inspected so you don't get burned. 
Well, he's he's a very musical guy. He's he's a rap artist on the side, and kind of a comedian. I don't think he means to be a comedian, but do, do you, Ross? He's also a restaurateur. He owned a restaurant on Hurdle Avenue at one time. I think it was, it was either Sinatra's or the one near there. He's got a, he has a, he's a, a great, a great keeper of a, a classic Mustang. Yeah, he makes sure it has the best care, the best hands work on it. Some of them I recommend it. La, La, La Dolce Vita. Remember that? Yeah, everybody remembers that, Ross. Great place. Now, what does that mean in Italian for the, for the home audience? The beautiful life. Sweet life. See, she knows everything. Wasn't even in German and she knew it. Yeah. I got a super refund once, and I remember you came in handy explaining it to me. And it was for pistachio nuts. It was great. I wound up getting like four big bags of nuts. I was I was actually happy I got ripped off. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. Oh, it ended a moment ago. Yes, this is the end of a beautiful friendship. Sister and brother, till that night at Dolce Vita, when we looked at each other, that was the end of a beautiful friendship, and just, just the beginning of love.
sister and brother. Till tonight, when we looked at each other, that was the end of a beautiful friendship. Yes, 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 she is, Ross. She's a, a lounge cadet in good standing. She stops to see us once in a while. Remarkable woman. Even though I understand she panned. <laughs> Ross, Ross doesn't like, well, I wouldn't say he doesn't like her. He's got a beef with Janet Sokin because I remember, I, tell me if I'm wrong about this, Ross. It's been several years, but I remember uh, re reading your, your discussion with people about I hope you guys got over that difference. Something about some fine point of High art of cuisine, or was it about sports? I think it was about sports. Yeah, her husband's name is Buddy. Very nice man. I mean, very pleasant guy. I see. I re yeah, I remembered you had a, a beef about half a star in magnitude. I actually had the honor, the distinction. She once, Janice Oaken once cooked dinner for me. I thought that was so cool. He's slender and he's tallish. I don't remember him as being like really tall, but then again, I'm the last guy you'd want like at a uh, criminal lineup identification type of situation. I'm, I'm, I'm not very like a friend could lose a limb and I might think he needs he got a haircut or something. You know, I'm just not that. I'm too busy thinking about myself to really be that aware things going on around me. Yeah, she cooked a wonderful meal. We had a cooking club going with some of the newspaper people. We take turns at people's homes and, and she, uh, well, she cooked for me many times as we'd make the uh, the rounds to each of our homes, but then we had it at her place on the waterfront. If you walk out of her living room, if, if you've had too many drinks, you could wind up right in the water. Remember that? Janice Oaken, you'll go out the wrong door and you're in the water. Yeah, it's really cool. Right, yeah. Yeah, she, she could have a boat like right at her side door. I think that I think it is. I think it's like a little dock. It's getting harder and harder to get a little dock. They don't make house calls anymore. Or simply a shock. Is it the good turtle soup at Dolce Vita? Or merely the muck? Is it the cocktail or this feeling of joy? Is what I feel the real McCoy? Is it for all? 
all time or simply a lie? Is it or not I see or only as Barry Park? Is it the fancy not worth thinking of? Or is it a long, long last love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simply a lark. Is it Granada I see, or only Asbury Park? Is it the fancy not worth thinking of, or is it a long, long last love? Oh yeah, it's time. dedicated to Dolce Vita. Ross is the right kind of guy to have a fussy little restaurant. He's the kind of guy, I've never met Ross. I'm looking forward to it, but I feel like I've known him a long time. You can really get to know people. You think you get to know them pretty well on Facebook. Maybe you get, get them to know them better than in a lot of ways. You don't get to know somebody in a few minutes that you're talking to them. Well, you could. I could. I could. Ross, you know who Terry is? The woman that was very curious about you and your restaurant? She's the talking, proud girl. She's a little young, but she's the lady who's talking proud. She used to strut around and for all of us, made us all proud, made us all strut, for that matter. That was like, that was addicting, that dance. Ross, if you, you might, you might be a little young, so what you got to do is go to YouTube on your other screen. Don't leave us. And do um, Buffalo Talking Proud campaign and yeah, uh, and then you'll see her doing her doing her thing man they're still talking about it there's still some there's still some talking proud signs up like hanging over like red lights and stuff oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's amazing goes Buffalo's got the spirit spirit, talking proud talking proud (laughs) what's how's it go isn't this cool she's singing it to me and to the cadets What an honor. Makes me feel like starting the Chamber of Commerce up again. They I don't know, they, they morphed into the partnership. Yeah, they did something. But that was the high point. Hiding where it belongs. We're talking proud. Oh, he does remember. He's he's 52 years old. He does remember. Yeah, he remembers you well and the commercial. He says he talks about that commercial sometimes. Great memories in that commercial. 
It's hard to ever recover from that commercial, right, Ross? Of course he does. Talking proud. We're going to rewrite it for the... For whatever, what would you call this generation we're living in now? I think odd. the odd, the odd generation, the AI. Talking proudly. What do you, Terry? What do you think of that? Is Talking that proudly at the moment. Has that ever come Talking up? Talking proudly is as you're going along. Yes. Oh, she must have explored this philosophy. Oh yeah, many times. There's nothing new under the sun. Ross is casting bouquets in your direction. He said you did an excellent job with that campaign. Thank you. Terry says thank you, Ross. Thank you. Well, I know that goes for me, Ross. I'm, count me in the lazy generation. I'm waiting for those robots to come out. They're supposed to, um, I mean, I'm scared to death of all this, like everybody, you know, because we, they're going to take over. But until they do, that little, into that sweet spot, you know, that might last weeks, months, or maybe years if we're lucky, before they get smarter than us and start ordering us around, that's when we can really have some, like, great, great help from these things. Yeah, probably version one. Be working for him someday. Be like that Twilight Zone episode. Was it Twilight Zone? That one. Barbara, come here. I need you. <laughs> yeah, I need my oil <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, she was caring for her scientist uh, uncle or grandfather. Mr. Schwimmler or something, wasn't it? And he was very needy and she couldn't wait kind of in a way for him to finally kick the bucket so she could have a little peace. And then he kicked it. He kicked the bucket, his robot took over for him. There was no escape. Barbara, come here, I need you. How are you, sir? Wonderful to see you. Doing great. Yeah. It feels quiet in here, but they say the place is completely booked. Yeah. So like anything could happen at any moment. Well, they'd be great. I mean, we're just re, re we're just thinking back to an old campaign. I, I don't, are you are you from Buffalo? Or are you here from somewhere else? Canada. Jeez. Yeah. How how's the, uh, the how's the forest fire situation going? Is that getting under control? Definitely not good. Not good. Are they just kind of waiting for it to take care of it? I know, I know they're working hard on it. I would, That'd be a great thing if that happened. Now, what about all that cloud seeding they were always talking about? Oh, yeah, right.
easy. With me, Terry and Joyce. That's that's my uh, my better half. Yes, I am. She's really upset. She's in German at the top of our lungs. She doesn't she doesn't get upset. I make I make sure I put I put that fire off before it gets that big. Yeah, well. You must remember this. This is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Say hi to my friend from Canada, Mary. Hello, friend from Canada. Look behind you. He's actually here. Oh As time goes by, <laughs> and when two lovers woo. I love you and that you can rely no matter what the future brings as time goes by Well, thank you. a song I saw in a movie with Humphrey Bogart but all he did was made faces in it which all he had to do uh, on with the show am I blue am I blue it was really a great scene Hoagie Carmichael was playing the piano in these eyes telling you
Grant Cargan and Harry Axt. I'm always careful how I pronounce that guy's name. Sort of an oxymoron. People don't talk about oxymorons as much as they used to. Right? It used to be a thing. I've never heard that before. You never heard of oxymoron? No. It's um never. it's when kind of like opposite meanings are juxtaposed side by each together. Isn't that a great expression, side by each, each together? Possibly. What's an example of an oxymoron? The name of this is Alone Together. Alone Together. Oh, I like that. Alone Together. See, that's an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp. Jumbo shrimp. That's from a musical Alone Together. It's a classic oxymoron. Oh, jumbo shrimp. Yeah. I have trouble thinking of it. And then the joke is military intelligence. That was it. <laughs> Tonight we're alone together. Alone together. Beyond the crowd. Above the world. We're not too proud to cling together. We're strong as long as we're together. Blinding rain, the starlit nights were not in vain for we together. What is there to fear together? Our love is as deep as a sea. Can be for we can weather I've never heard of it. the great unknown. If we're alone together, Beats and Schwartz. Oh, I'm so glad you did. Thanks for squeezing us in. And she sang me the song. What a moment. Have a great evening, Joyce. Wonderful seeing you.
to an evening of adventure. They're off the way to Dolce Vita. now that she, she can't get up and leave. Can, can you lie down on the piano? Something happy? Well, why not? What's that? Okay, we'll find a way to make that sad. That's a Rogers and Hart tune. <laughs> Babe's looking sharp in that outfit. I want to know what happened to that cherry, cherry cola Rolls Royce. cherry, whatever it was. Boy, was that sharp. I mean, the thing looked like it was, I only got a glimpse of it, but it, it looked like it was like perfect. What am I doing here? That kind of says it, you know? First thing I thought of when she was, when she fell. Very first thing. Roll another Rolls Royce. Give Birkin a call. Give Birkin a call? I'm sitting on a guy right now. Get out of town. This is from a show called Leave It To Me. Not Leave It To Beaver. That was a different one. Get out of town before it's too late, my love. Get out of town. Be good to me, please. Why wish me on? Why not retire to a farm and be contented to charm the birds off the trees? Just disappear. I care for you much too much. When you are near, close to me, dear, we touch too much. Get 
it set Get out of town Somebody requested this At least I hope they were requesting it They were saying get out of town That's a Cole Porter tune. There was the cheer up. It's a cheerful song. It reminds you of travel. Get out of town, right? A foggy day. Oh, in London town. Had me low, had me down. I viewed the morning with alarm. British Museum had lost its charm. How long I wondered could this thing last?
foggy London town. It's another one of Andrea's favorites. to discover what chemical forces flow from lover to lover how do we understand what touches off that tingle sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle we're trying Don When the moon was full, I was unwise with eyes unable to see. Rogers and Harris. The boys of Syracuse. Probably got some staying here in the Hyatt. They say it's full.
hours you'd be so easy to love easy to idolize like others above so Together, it just seems a shame that you can see your future with me, cause you'd be oh so, oh so easy to love. How's that new car, Rich? thing is sharp. You look like a CIA or an FBI guy in it. Little window tent on there, you'd be all set. I wonder where, I wonder what Connie's doing. empty like this, which is, this is actually the first time it's ever happened. Maybe it's a, what day is it today? Is it Friday? I might have the wrong day. I might have come in on the wrong day. But anyway, back to Connie and Richard's car. You never know, you know, the room could change the way the Buffalo weather changes. All hell could break loose. In either direction. some good ones for you, Rich. Here's a good one for Richie, because he doesn't want his car to get dirty yet. It's never been in the rain. Oh, on that clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see
an evening of contradictions, Richie. The hotel, I understand the hotel is filled to capacity. And the lounge is empty to capacity. from Lady Be Good. How you doing, young man? Oh, thank you. That's why I like playing for millionaires, millionaire businessmen. got plaid leather seats, plaid seat covers. That is serious. We're turning into our aunts. My aunt used to put seat covers on everything. Richie bought a brand new vehicle. It's beautiful. Yeah. And he bought he bought plaid seat covers for it. Gore. Is that really you out there? My old school chum? We're getting close to a reunion. Maybe we'll see each other. You gonna go, Gary Gore? No pressure, I'm just wondering. stops you're gonna they're gonna head to the lounges of every hospital in town thank you let us know how that goes <laughs> what's that oh I see the only one only you beneath the moon let's change the key on this one only you beneath the moon and under the sun whether near to me or far Darling, where you are, I think of you night and day. Day and night, where is it so?
through the roaring traffic boom in the silence of my only room I think of you night and day a hungry yearning burning inside of me and the torment won't be through till you let me spend my life making love to you day and night night and day <laughs> That's from the gay divorcee. That's the name of the show. Yep. Don't shoot the messenger. Well, nobody's here. We could do whatever we want, Mary. We've been so packed every week. We needed this to keep our hum to keep us humble. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. Gee, what a thrill. Each time I kiss her, believe me, I've got a case for Nancy with the laughing. Oh, she takes the winter, she makes it summer. Summer could take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. That's Nancy with a laughing face. bells ringing she can give you the very same glow when she speaks you would think it was singing just hear her say hello goodness you can't resist her here's a big line Sorry for you, she has no sister, no one could ever replace my Nancy with the laughing face. Oh, that Nancy with the laughing face, thanks for the key back day. You lost your jacket. You left it in the men's room. There they go. Buffalo show business couple heading for the Rolls Royce. Wow, we wish her Andrea's ankle and knee a speedy recovery. She seems to be bouncing back. It's hard to keep her down. When that happened, my heart stood still, Mary. I took one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. and walk my lips could move and talk and yet my heart stood still yet not a single word was spoken I could tell you knew that unfelt clasp 
of hands told me so well you knew I never lived at all until the thrill of that moment when my heart my heart stood still that moment when my heart stood still in here to throw out. It's quiet night. explain everything. Where is everybody? Everybody went to New York City. What's that? You're going home? happened in New York City. We need a New York to Buffalo interpreter <laughs> Just to, to understand you, 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 you. You've got that New York thing. It's hard to. We, we got we got to take some speed or something. We're, but I love it. There's nobody here, Selena. We've been killing it. We were getting big heads. We've been slamming it. They ran out of glasses last week. It was so busy. And now it's like we've gone. We've gone home. July Fourth weekend. It could be that, or it could be just like a wild crap shoot every week. You know. It's a 
first nice Friday. Yeah, those are all good thoughts. Somebody loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew. shout out maybe you were meant to be my loving baby somebody loves me I wonder who maybe maybe it's you family has a different hair statement. Yeah. Maybe they're in the business. Right? Could be in the hair business. I think we're going to get slammed in the last 15 minutes. Yeah. Just to finish things off. Nice if Diane was here. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's all you need is Diane.
That's a great story. Big Gershwin song. Get you. You were completely sweet. Oh, what can I do? I wanted phrases to sing your praises to. That certain feeling, the one that they all call love. Tiptoes, 1925. I've never heard of Tiptoes. Yeah, we're gonna have to look these up.
That's a, that's a crying laugh. This from Shall We Dance. Now, there's no question mark after Shall We Dance. So it's, it's not a question, is it? It's sort of a command. The way you wear your hat. The way you sip your tea. from me the way your smile just beams the way you sing off key the way you haunt my dreams no no they can't take that away from me we may never never meet again on that bumpy road to love dance till three the way you change my life no no they can't take that away from me no they can't take that away from me Shall we dance without a question mark? Maybe something from the Zigfield Follies. Now that was that was show business. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. Gone I woke up singing Sentimental overture, this heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taken out. As life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. here now.
have something to do with Dave Corbett. <laughs> yeah, they're ready for anything, those guys. I should get the civilian equivalent of that. So whatever breaks during the day, I'm ready to fix it. Jaws of life. I think I'll take an unprecedented bathroom break. I'll be right back. I found out what, what all the excitement's about, Mary. What is it? Somebody's, somebody's stuck in an elevator. Oh, okay. Well, I'm 
And then, and then all of a sudden, I was like, there's, there's all these. I got stuck in an elevator with Mark Croce. It was terrible. I, I didn't think anybody was going to find us. Not too long, but boy, it was scary. Because we were, we were in a service elevator of the Statler before the Statler opened. You know? So it's like there were no people like expected to be there. And it wasn't the main elevator, it was this, this, the service elevator that you don't know what, that it's even there, right? And the cell phones wouldn't work in it because it's a metal box. Well, his brother, his brother Scott was with us. He's in great shape, right? So I figured we were gonna make Scott climb up on the roof of the thing and like get out. But, um, I can't remember how we got out. Somehow the situation resolved itself, you know, and, uh, but I was pretty relieved. Of course, if you're gonna get stuck in an elevator, I guess Mark Croce would be a good guy because you know he'd figure out a way out of it. And you'd wind up making money on the deal. Scott and Mark, there's no way you're going to be in trouble with those guys. Well, if I was in an elevator on a Friday night and all of a sudden that was like going to be my evening, that elevator, I guess I'd say, I guess I'll have to change my plan. I realized there'd be another man. I overlook that point completely till the big affair began Before where I knew where I was at I found myself up on the shelf and that was that I tried to reach the moon And when I got there All that I could get was the air back upon the ground I found the one girl one girl I found that'd be embarrassing wouldn't it you get out of the thing and there's like half the cities there looking at you of course if it's not your fault <laughs> yeah, she's a troubleshooter Yeah, I haven't I haven't met her yet. Yeah, I saw that. Wow. Oh, great. Don't you just pop those doors open? I don't know. I mean, even so, you could, you know. Well, I thought you could always force the doors open, but if I suppose if it's some sort of malfunction where maybe they're, they're jammed shut or something. With my luck, I'd get stuck on an escalator. 
They'd have to call the fire department to get me down. Let's take them. Maybe we can take them. We can install them in our own places. Yeah. They run them when they need them. anything to do with that? <laughs> Why is it so hard to get them out? <laughs> There's more people in the elevator than in the, <laughs> the club. No wonder they're all gone. I should have been I should have been playing in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, maybe there's like a lot of people in it. They'd be uncomfortable, wouldn't it? I know, right? Depending on who they were. I mean, if it was the right, you know. Oh, the ones that hurt the, the yeah, what a night. Really? Yes. The woman who fell, who slipped? Yes. Oh, really? They have no risk. That's why they are re entry. What did they, what did they do to get thrown out? Well, I mean, it wasn't here. I just got here two, three weeks ago. He said, they said he's very good. He, he's, he's a troublemaker. That's what they said. Yeah. That's our specialty. Now, can you imagine if he was stuck in the elevator? <laughs> All these guys were stuck in it. <laughs> All right. embarrassing. <laughs> Gee, those three guys looks like they could have busted their way out of the thing. Must have been really jammed. <laughs> Misses fun things, then he regrets missing nights. Everybody was trapped. Well, this night went really fast, didn't it, Mary? It's nice to have different types of nights, you know. 
different experiences. I've seen Jocko. I've seen Jocko have dead nights. Now that was great that Terry and Joyce were here. Yeah. We got. Yeah, we got to. Uh, we got their undivided attention. They're so nice. She sang that. She sang the uh, official song to me too. Buffalo's talking proud. What an honor! It's like having the. It's like having the Beatles sing. You know. Hey Jude. Yeah. bad for her. It didn't look like she was having a great time with that injury. You know, you have plans for a night and then you wind up sitting there with an ice pack on your ankle. So they finally let him back in. And then he gets, and then he falls down. He pushes his wife down. Well, you know what? It's 8 o'clock. Maybe we should quit before all of a sudden people are going to show up. They, which, you know, which, which in a way would be fun, but then again, well, well we're ahead. Well, good night, everybody. We had a, a, a rollicking time tonight. We had people stuck in elevators, fire departments, lounge cadets falling down and getting injured. And we had a live performance of and a live performance of Talking Proud, Buffalo's Talking Proud, by the actual, the actual actress, 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 dancer, yeah. Terry. So, I feel good. All right, we'll see you all next week, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the, in the reruns. And we'll see you in exactly one week minus three hours. We just got, we almost broke our fingers. We just got to get out of here. Too. Yeah, we that was a close like, one. It was. I was worried. I mean, but not.